Meet Mariam. She's your typical college student. She likes to go to school, have fun, and drink milk. But what she doesn't know is that milk is infected. That's right. She now has a bacterial infection which, which results in food poisoning. She's a stomachache, diarrhea, and of course, vomiting. <coughs> Let's take a look inside Mariam's belly. Oh no, she's infected by bacteria. Whatever can she do now? So Mariam goes to the doctor and the doctor prescribes her one pill of antibiotics a day for a course of 10 days. On the first day she takes one pill, the second day another, the third day another, the fourth day another, and on the fifth day one more pill. She then decides she actually feels pretty good about now and her stomach ache's gone. So she decides to not take any more of her pills. But what Mariam doesn't know is she has caused an antibiotic resistance in her system. Here's what happened. In Mariam's belly was a bacteria called Campylobacter. That bacteria had different strains, different mutations. One mutation was susceptible to antibiotics. Another strain was resistant to antibiotics. Every day whenever Mariam took one of her antibiotic pills, it would kill off some of the bacteria, particularly the ones that were susceptible to antibiotics. The ones that were resistant were killed off much more slowly. By the end of her treatment, she should have killed all the bacteria, but because she stopped on the fifth day, what was left was a lot of resistant bacteria and a little bit of the susceptible kind. Now let's take a closer look. Every time Mariam took one of those pills, it would affect the bacteria that was susceptible to it a lot more than it would affect the resistant strain. So the antibiotics killed off the susceptible bacteria. Now when she stopped taking those pills before she finished the course of them, the resistant bacteria was allowed to start to breed again. They reproduced and she got infected all over again. This is the theory of natural selection by Darwin. We also accelerate antibiotic resistance by overusing antibiotics. We expose bacteria to antibiotics too often which creates more resistant strains. Agricultural farmers also give them to healthy animals to make them grow faster which also results in more resistant strains. Sometimes human beings misuse, misuse them using antibiotics when it's not needed, like when we have a cold. One way to slow it down would be to stop using antibiotics on healthy animals or to use antibiotics responsibly. So don't ask for antibiotics if you don't need them or eat them all at once. In the end, we'll all lead healthy infection-free lives.